Welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim, and today on Ramblings, whoo, am I satisfied with the beast. Um, you guys know I picked up my Ford F-250 on Friday and uh, got to take it over and show Jin Jin. And since then, guys, today's Monday. Happy Monday, by the way. Since then, I put a thousand miles on this truck. So Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, and now Monday. So three and a half days, I put a thousand miles on this truck. Elvis, that's crazy, isn't it? A thousand miles. But they have been beautiful, cold miles. The air conditioning is working perfectly. Matter of fact, uh, we had to turn the AC down a little bit because it was too cold. It's too cold, Elvis, that's right. Uh, you know, the, the seats have air conditioning in them too and they, we had to turn them down because it was, it was pretty warm this weekend. Um, so Friday night, yeah, Elvis, uh, El give me a second Elvis, I'm getting to it. Uh, Friday night, I pick up the, uh, the F-250 and uh, that's the last time you saw. I did a ramblings on the way to see Jen. She thought I was, uh, going to bring the SRT to see her she, and then we were going to go the next day and pick up the, the F-250. But no, I brought the F-250. So I pull in the driveway and she comes out and she goes, oh, you got it. <laughs> she was excited as you Elvis. Um, she jumped in it and uh, she, she liked it. She, she liked my truck and she, goodness gracious guys, Jin Jin looks good in this truck. You know, I look okay in it. Jin Jin looks good in it, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but I got to her place on Friday and she had made some uh, taco soup and uh, had tortillas in it and she made these this jalapeno uh, Mexican cornbread with a meat in it. Ooh, it was so good. Candace came over, her friend, and uh, we had a, a, a great meal. Then we wanted to take out the beast and, uh, and see how she did. We went down to the Mississippi River and uh, the barges were going through there. It was all beautiful. We played music. The, st the sound system on this thing, the B&O 18 speaker sound system was kicking. Uh, we had a little pavilion right there next to the river. And uh, there's actually a boat ramp that goes down. And the Mississippi River is really, really, really low right now. But we went all the way down to the water and shined the lights and watched the barges go by and the steel mills behind us. Uh, Mississippi County there in, in Arkansas is one of the largest steel producing counties in America right now. Uh, there's so many steel mills that came from up, up north, you know, Pittsburgh area. Now they're all down here in the south. Um, and uh, for, for good reasons too. This is, this is where the good hard workers are. Um, so we um, had a, a great, great time Friday night and uh, then Saturday, uh, we came over to, uh, to the dealership to drop off or to pick up the SRT and it was still there. Luckily, I was worried about it being stolen. And we picked up the SRT and we took it to uh, here to drop off the SRT and the, we could take the uh, F-250 back to Arkansas. Grandma Carol got to see it and everything and she thought it was, was pretty. Uh, went back to Arkansas and then Saturday night got to have dinner with Lauren, Jen's daughter. And uh, uh, she is so cool. She is a she is a cool young lady. She's the same age as my Alyssa, I think 25, and she's got it going on. She's got a good career going. Very uh, Jen Jen's so proud of Lauren, and she has a good reason to be. Um, but we had a great dinner there at this really nice cafe in a little small town uh, there in Arkansas. Had a great meal. Um, it was actually the same restaurant where I first uh, met Jen. Uh, the restaurant where we met, our first date. And um, when we met that first time, one of the appetizers we had were deviled eggs. And you're like, Tim, deviled eggs on a first date? Guys, these were filet mignon deviled eggs. They had filet mignon and some sort of brown sauce on these deviled eggs, they were delicious. Well, this time when we went, you know, they changed things up a little bit at this restaurant. They were um, scallop and Pickled red pepper, or pickled red onions on uh, uh, scallops, you know, like sea scallops, you know, like diver scallops, you know. They were seared scallops with some sort of seasoning, um, with pickled red onions and, and, and some sort of sauce and, on these deviled eggs, and they were mm, delicious. Um, I had blackened catfish and uh, vegetables and mashed potatoes, and uh, yeah, we just talked and talked and just had a great, great. Uh, um, uh, time together, you know, with me, Jen, and, and Lauren, her daughter, and that was really, really nice. Uh, the next day, Sunday, 
I headed out, well actually I came home Saturday night. Uh, Sunday morning I got up to go see my Morgan, my son at uh, Starkville, uh, Mississippi, uh, Mississippi State. He turned 21 on Saturday. Now he went to the LSU uh, Mississippi State game and LSU won unfortunately. Um, but he went to that game on Saturday so that's why I came Sunday. And uh, we went out to eat and uh, at Two Brothers Meat Company there in Starkville, Mississippi. And I had um, bacon and ranch chicken cheese tacos. They were really good. He had Gulf Shore shrimp tacos. And um, then we went and played golf. And uh, I haven't played golf in a long, long time. Uh, we played golf down there and uh, he, he'd be, he started playing. Uh, he started whooping me off. The first hole, I just did terrible in the first hole. I think I lost two balls in the first hole. Um, but by the end, I was, I was, I was, oh, no, straight, straight arm, right? I was getting, you know, uh, yeah, I, I was getting that swing down. I was hitting him right down the fairway, and so I was catching up to him. We, we did the final score after nine holes. I tied. <laughs> I caught up to him. It was an even tie. Now he said, Dad, I gave you some uh, uh, strokes on that first hole. I said, well, we should just drop the first hole. If we dropped the first hole, I would win. Because really, we didn't do any driving range. We didn't do any practice. We just jumped out there, and I ain't played in years. So to me, if we dropped the first hole, I win. But it was his birthday, so all right. You did, you, you did good, Morgan, and I'm very, very proud of you. Um, then we uh, went and had some uh, ice cream. Woo! I had me some uh, um, a waffle cone with some butter pecan, old-fashioned butter pecan, and I had some uh, cotton candy. I know, I'm a kid. Cotton candy, a scoop of cotton candy, a scoop of uh, butter pecan, and a waffle cone. It was so good. And uh, then we went and got him a PlayStation 5. Um, I mean, the last PlayStation I had was a 3, and I, I, I haven't played video games in so long. The kids, I use it to play, you know, DVDs and... Um, when the kids would come over, we'd play video games together. Uh, but he, got, I got him a PS5, me and his mom, uh, my ex, got him a uh, PS5. We went on it together. And uh, so he, you know, he's actually, uh, him and his roommates are using it in the common room there. And they watch movies on it and stream and do all that stuff. And uh, it's a pretty amazing machine. And uh, then I contacted Sid and Mike from 3 Mississippi. I uh, told them I was heading home from Starkville. And, they, you know, they live pretty close to West Point, which is not too far from there. And... Uh, Sid answered, said, Tim, uh, Frankie's at church. Uh, Mike's somewhere at the house. I can't get a hold of him, but it'd be about 45 minutes. Well, I said, well, I'm eight minutes from West Point. And um, uh, they said, well, she said, well, let me get a hold of Mike. And uh, after looking about it, you know, see what time it was, it was getting dark. I said, Sid, we'll just make it up next time. I don't really want to, you know, call Mike from his, whatever he's doing out there on the farm, have him drive all the way to West Point, see this big, beautiful, sexy truck, and make you trade your Chevy in for this Ford. <laughs> uh, Sid said, not a chance in the world. <laughs> the, they're Chevy people, okay? Yeah, uh, Sid's a Chevy girl. But this this, this is a sexy machine right here, man. Look how big this thing is sitting behind me, you know? I'm sitting level with it, and uh, it's, a, it's a big old truck. Um, so then uh, that was, I got home, what did I get home last? About 9.30, I got home about 9.30 last night, got, and I got up today, and I was a little, uh, a little sore, and I was like, man, what am I sore for? I, I really didn't get much done this weekend as far as working around the property or anything, and uh, I realized I played golf. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm, I'm sore in, you know, in this area here, the hips and the, the shoulders. Uh, it was, it was good exercise. The weather was gorgeous while we were out there. Um, but uh, here on the ridge, guys, you guys know uh, I got uh, the, the tractor rotary cutter fixed. I got uh, the, the first half of that field cut, you know, I, I did like I tried to do last time before I broke the blades. Well, as soon as I get done with the, uh, uploading this video, I'm going to get back out there and start getting the, uh, the field cut where I'm building the barn. I'm not going to film initially because I'm, I'm going to try to mow the edges and get all that. And then once I get towards the center where the barn's going to be, I'll film that with the drone and you know all that stuff so you can get an idea of what's going to look like where that barn's going to be and where those brush piles are. I need to spray the brush piles so I can burn them because they're all green and growed up with ragweed and all kinds of other stuff right now. Um, but man, we're, I'm ready to make some progress. Um, I also, um, Grandma Carol and her property right where the chickens and rabbits are we got this little grove of trees I've kept. I, I kind of alluded to this uh, one thing before. She wanted for her birthday to get this done, and it looks like now I'm going to start to get it. There's a little grove of trees. 
but that we put our field lines for the septic and they run they run through these trees and we're worried about the roots and they're just a pain in the butt to mow around. Most of them are sweet gum. So I'm gonna get the tractor out with a big claw and uh, get the root bases up, knock them over with the tractor, use the claw, move them off to the side, cut them for firewood for that beautiful fire pit we got, and clear all that up for Grandma Carol so there's a lot less to mow around. I'm gonna leave probably three trees. Uh, so she'll have three trees that can grow really big and give some good shade over there. Um, I may have to move the chickens and rabbits because right now they're, they're providing some, these trees are providing some shade. So I may have to move the chickens and rabbits just a little bit to, to make sure they have afternoon shade. Of course, it's getting cooler now. Guys, it's 83 degrees and like zero humidity right now. I, I'm in shorts, short sleeves, and it feels so good right now. Uh, David's going live here in a little bit, so I've got to get out on that tractor, start getting those that perimeter cut. Um, uh, gotta get this video uploaded real quick and uh, you know there's no editing on these things i just pretty much gotta uh chop the beginning and end upload and uh and and get and let it process um i don't know what we're gonna have for dinner tonight but uh i'm ready to get this week going i'm ready to uh um, uh, move forward with some uh work around the ridge here get that field cut get those trees knocked down i've got a uh, uh, product reviews to do on that um awesome cooler the battery powered cooler uh, i've got the, the the 13 by 20 uh built a shed to put up i got of course my old original 10 by 20 to put back up to put the tractor under and uh tons 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 more things here on ridge life so hope you're excited as i am uh moving forward seeing more of jen out here on the property uh seeing this beast doing what it do uh i'm i you know i I got a thousand miles on it this first weekend. I'm not going to be driving it that as much. That's why I kept the SRT. I'll still be driving the SRT mostly to work every day. Um, but guys, this thing was getting, when I did 70 miles an hour, it would get about 21 miles per gallon. That's breaking the engine in. It was still getting 21 miles per gallon. Once you got up above 72, 75, or 80, it dropped pretty quickly. This thing's like a big wall of steel going down the highway. And about 80 mile an hour, it just, it just wind resistance takes over and i was getting about 11 to 15 miles a gallon but 70 i was really surprised at 21 miles per gallon and that's that's not even broke in yet it breaks in at a thousand and i'm really close i'm right at a thousand so i'm looking forward to see what it stable stabilizes out at but what a beautiful beautiful machine and uh made in kentucky guys the kentucky plant's still up and going uh and uh, hopefully they don't strike as well for, for those guys needing to get their vehicles. But uh, I got mine and I'm super happy about it. So guys, I'm gonna leave you there, I'm gonna get this uploaded and get to cutting that field. So until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day. Keep rambling and go Ridge Life.